Hey everyone, we're going to be doing some line graphing. And then we'll probably be doing some line dancing, because we're so darn excited that we can graph lines. Alright, so first thing, I want you to take a look at this line. Look closer, little bit closer, little bit closer. Boom! There it is. So you'll see this line is made up of tons of different points. In fact, there are an infinite number of points on any given line, and we can find those points. For example, let's take this point right here. That would be at negative 1, negative 2, 0. Or we could find, let's say, this point up here. That would be 1, 1, 2, 3. And those are just your x and y values on the coordinate plane. So, since every line has a bunch of different points, it's cool that if I have a few points, I could use those to draw my line. Here we have three different points. Remember, our first coordinate is our x-coordinate, and our second is our y-coordinate. So our first point here is at 2, negative 1. That's going to be 2, 1, 2, negative 1, right here. Next, we've got the point 0, 2. That's going to be 0, 1, 2. And our last point is negative 2, 5. That's going to be negative 1, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, now that we've got our points and we know that a line is always straight, we could play a good old-fashioned game of connect the dots. I was never good at connect the dots. All right, there we are. Connecting those points, we've got our line. All right, so you may have noticed that our method for graphing lines we're going to be talking about here is through making a table. This is where you're going to get your money's worth. All lines can be represented by an equation that has an x term and a y term. Once you've got your equation, you could graph by making a table through three simple steps. First, make your table. Second, find your points. And third, connect your dots. And that's going to give you your line. So let's start by making a table. No, not that kind of table. Yes, an XY table, much better. Next, we need to find our points. To do this, we're gonna use our equation. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be picking X values. It doesn't matter what X values we pick, because remember, a line has an infinite number of points. And then we're gonna be plugging that in here to find our Y value. So let's go ahead and start, and let's say X equals zero. So I fill in zero for my chart. Then I'm going to take my equation, but instead of this x here, I'm going to replace it with a zero. That's going to give me zero equals y plus one. y plus one. Now all I need to do is solve for my y. So I can subtract one from both sides. That's going to leave me with y equals zero minus one negative one. And this is going to be my y value that corresponds with that zero. And there we've got one of our points, zero, negative one. From there, let's go ahead and pick another x value. How about negative two? All right, we want to take that negative two, plug it right in for x. That's going to give us negative two equals y plus one. Solve from there, we'll subtract one both sides. That's going to give us negative three equals y. And that leaves us with a point negative 2, negative 3. Now you really only need two points to graph a line, but I always go for 3 just to be safe. So let's go ahead and pick another x value. How about 1? Plugging that 1 in for x, we're going to get 1 equals y plus 1. And solving, we'll get y equals 0. Now we've got a set of points here. Let's put them on the graph. First we've got 0, negative 1. Then we've got negative 2, negative 3. And last we have 1, 0. And there we've got all three of our points. So lastly, let's connect the dots to get our line. Beautiful. So we've graphed the line x equals y plus 1 right here. Let's do one more quick example. We've got y minus 2x equals 4. We've drawn our xy table. Let's start with the x value negative 1. Plugging negative 1 in for x, we're going to get y minus 2 times negative 1 equals 4. That gives us y plus 2 equals 4. And solving by subtracting 2 both sides, we get y equals 2. Next, why don't we go with 0? Plug that in. And we'll get y minus 2 times 0 equals 4. Solving, we're going to get a y value of 4. Let's pick one more x value. I'm going to pick 1. Remember, you can pick anything you want. Sometimes it's simpler if you choose these smaller numbers. Let's plug that 1 in for x. That'll give us y minus 2 times 1 equals 4. 
Simplifying, we're going to get y minus 2 equals 4, and finally y equals 6. Slap those points on the graph, we'll have negative 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, and 6 that we got from our table. Draw our line, and we're done.